everyone. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. I'm Amelia Waliani, and I'm joined by Christina Cox, who's been uh, walking us through some pretty awesome travel postcard design processes this week. Um, mm -hmm. Earlier this week, where did we go? We went to Ulladulla in New South Wales in Australia, which is where I'm from. Yeah, and then unsurprisingly, yesterday. Yesterday we went to Palm Springs, the sunny, hot Sa Palm Springs. Dude. Sa dude. Sa dude. And what was it? Good day, mate, from Aladala. Good day from Aladala. Good day. Good yep. day. Yeah. Yep. And today, where are we going, Christina? From Rome. <laughs> We're going to Florence Yay! in Italy because I'm so, 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 so excited. I was about to say super excited and then so, so and then I ended up being merged. Merged. So excited. So excited. Uh, I'm going to Florence in July. <sighs> Lucky duck. And I'm super excited about it. And so I thought, make a travel postcard about it. If there ever were a time. If there ever were a time. It the time is now. During Adobe <laughs> Live this week. <laughs> With you all. Um, so before we ju uh, jump right in to designing this awesome travel postcard for <coughs> Florence, mm -hmm. um, just a couple of items to run through. This is our third segment of the day. Earlier this morning, you heard from Andrew Hockerdell. Yeah. And you also heard from the Hood Sisters earlier from Hoodspa Design. And now- oh, um, awesome. Now we're here and they are awesome. They all did a fantastic yeah. job this whole week. I'm so glad I got to meet Andrew and, and the Hoods this yeah. week. They're all, both super, super awesome. And super funny. And very talented. Oh my skilled. gosh. Skilled. Oh my gosh. So skilled. Um, and uh, okay, and 30 minutes into our time together, we are going to continue with the tradition of chat and win, where you can win. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> All is good. Uh, you can win this awesome notebook. Ba -ba. You want to walk them through your favorite feature? Okay. <laughs> I love the texture. This is I've done this a couple of times, but I tell you what, I'm not sick of it because I secretly am going to steal this. <laughs> uh, fantastic uh, blue textured cover. You get this awesome pink center. A few of the pages in the center are just this fun pop. Mm -hmm. And it comes with this cool little case. Yes. And then bam, bam, bam. It's a beautiful, beautiful prize. Yeah. And one of you lucky chatters will win it um, 30 minutes into the segment. And finally, um, today, we are going to be reviewing two lucky portfolio people who <laughs> submitted their portfolio <laughs> in, the, um, in the link in the chat called Portfolio Review. It's just that tab right there. If you haven't submitted, be sure to do so. We're going to be reviewing those at around 2.30 Pacific Standard yeah, Time. Yeah, awesome. Um, Can't so wait now. to see your, your portfolios. I love looking at people's work. Hmm. Yeah. And Heidi says that this is the Palm Springs pink and blue. It so is. Oh, it is. It's true. That's why I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. So, um, yes, if you are joining us today, please be sure to say hello and tell us where you're tuning in from, and maybe you'll get a fun show. Brazil! Shout. Bruno from Brazil! Ooh, hi, Bruno! Hey, hey! Hey, Helmet, Almendra, Reverb, Mike? Reverb, Mike. R Reverb, Mike. <laughs> Reverb, Mike. Great uh, first and last name. Yeah, for real. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Yeah, shall, shall we, we jump in? Shall we look at what we've get done into so far? it. Okay. So, uh, this is what we did on day one. Ugh, bit of Love Australiana. It. Yes. Uh, yeah, I probably don't need to use Chrome. Mm. Let's let's quit right now so everything works faster. Uh, <laughs> I remember learning so much about the kookaburra earlier this week, and I'm just not over it. Um, and that is the kookaburra hanging up the top of that U right there, everyone. Yep. In case you missed it, you yep. should check out the recording. It was a fun collaborative effort yes. um, that let resulted in that. Let me show you. Yeah, it was a happy, happy uh, ending, uh, <laughs> mistake, accident. Um, Those are the best. So this was our, one of our options that we landed on yesterday from Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just close this because I think Photoshop is uh, 
um, being really loud and taking a lot of effort. Oh, uh, Voodoo Val right loves it so much. She'd buy a print if she could. Thanks, Voodoo Val. Ideas. Ideas. <laughs> so this was uh, the one that we ended up doing yesterday. Uh, Sa Dude. Sa From Palm Springs in California. We had this pool thing happening. And then last night I went home and, and tidied this up a bit. Another pool background. Oh, it's like a you're different walking font. into the pool. I mean, a different font integration. Yeah, it's like you're walking the into the pool. The yeah, perspective. Yeah, it's very inviting. Yeah. yeah. So, there you go. Yes, Helmut says came out good. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, it really did. It thank really you very did. Much. It was a combined effort. A lot of this type. It's uh, we had a lot of good uh, input from all of you chatters. Yeah. So let's kick it off with Florence, man. What is going on here? I'm so excited. This is your mood board. This is my mood board. Okay. So I usually start by uh, creating a bunch of uh, pin. Well, one Pinterest board with like a bunch of Pinterest. Pins? Pins. Pins. A bunch of pins on the board. A bunch of Pinterest pins on the board, which is what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then, like, pull pull a few of them. Once I get an idea of, like, the overall design direction I want to go in, I'm pulling elements into a board like this so that when I'm designing, I can keep referring back to different elements. So I'm just going to talk through a bit of the different uh, bits of of inspiration that I'll be drawing from. Lots yeah. of reds here. Because I think there's a there's a few different ways we can do it, a few different like stylistic decisions that we can do. And so I reckon we'll just like try a few different directions and see where we land. Mm. So one thing that I, I would like to try out is uh, this oh. kind of like, I, uh, packaging design is a really awesome um, place to start for inspiration direction. Um, I used to work on the packaging team at Williams Sonoma, and so I've got a lot of Pinterest boards full of uh, packaging inspiration from different countries because a lot of the food that we ended up designing was very regional food. Sure. Um, and there's some really awesome little uh, design details you can draw from different packaging designs. Especially a place like Florence, who's known for their food. There's exactly. a lot of Italy. unique, identifiable components yeah. there. Yeah. So I love, uh, what I love about these are a bit of the like distressed texture, a bit of like offset printing style and the colors. I love all of these like blues, oranges and reds. Nice. Yeah. So I'm pulling some of that as inspiration. This as well is really cool, like textures. Um, I I like, like, yeah, so thinking about the fonts Mm -hmm. as well, um, what's gonna really speak to that that particular country or that um, um, style that you're going after. Uh, So this, what I like about this is the, some outline text with some filled in text, Mm -hmm. (laughs) as well as the layering of the seal behind it um, with the text over the top. I really like what's going on there. Um, I like all of the tomato. The, ah, and the tomato over here, and yep, that layering as well, similar texture. Um, All of these little, what I call (laughs) dubalakis. What's a (laughs) dubalak? You're gonna have uh, to put that one down for us. Or like ornamental... Uh, Dubalaki. Gl- not glyphs, but um, flourishes. Flourishes. Ah, okay. Wait, a where, Dubalaki is like a thingamabob. You have to tell us about the cult, how, where that came from. I don't know where it came from. I'm sure I picked it up from somewhere, but... Mm. Uh, Can you say it again? Dubalaki? Dubalaki? Yeah. How do yep. you spell that? Oh, it's a very important <laughs> spelling. Uh, Duba what now? What does everybody Duba, else think? Duba, Duba what now? What is this Lackey. language you speak? Mm. Tell us all. English. We you all should learn, learn it. <laughs> uh, okay, so down here we're doing we're seeing the same thing, like some overlaying of patterns and text and. Um, some transparencies happening, you know, mm-hmm. like you, like when when people screen print and yes. you have those like uh, colors showing through over each other. Um, I really like that. Here's just a picture of Florence. A dome. Because yeah, it's so beautiful. Everybody, it's Scooter a Vespa. Town. It's Scooter Town, man. Yeah. 
for sure. Exactly, Voodoo Val. That's exactly how you would spell yeah, Gabalaki. I'm so I'm so down. glad you're, <laughs> you're down with it. Uh, this is a bit more angular, but I like the type uh, the oh, type treatment with so those um, e. line shadowing. Uh, like that. I just thought this was cute. Sardine Sardines thing. are tasty and um, that's adorable. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is a good way to start. I, th I love this swirly and, and mm -hmm. the way the type is set. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So sh next. Next, we're on top. We've just got colors, imagery. So I go to type kit and I <laughs> scroll and I look at my board and I think, what are some of the fonts that I'm seeing? <laughs> and I try and like download, download, download all of the ones that I You're think feel it. feel Italy. <laughs> what to are me, you drawn you know? to? Italy, Italians. Italians. Roman is bringing up drop bears again. <laughs> drop bear. <laughs> hey Roman. <laughs> are there drop nice bears in Italy? No, they're they're native to Australia. <laughs> okay, just making sure they didn't like emigrate. <laughs> they're or something. they're like a cousin of the koala. I see. Yeah, I see. They're real. They're real. Drop bears. So Everyone. when I did this this type exploration, I was going through and like uh, downloading all of the ones that I thought would be like nice Florence ones, mm -hmm. and then going through and downloading all of because I I want Italy. the Italy to be um, more well uh, angular, I guess pointy. Uh, <laughs> more, more pointy. More yes, pointy. See, this is why I went to art school, so I could design, so I could talk about design in these very sophisticated terms. I want it to be pointy. You want it to be longer, more pronounced. Uh, yeah, and and a sans serif, and maybe like a bit of a vintagey mm -hmm. sans serif. Um, so I was trying to like once I did that, I I typed out. Ferenz is apparently, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I, this, I should have. You're sounding it out. I'm with you. Ferenz. 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 I'm, Ferenz. I'm so or Ferenz. incredibly sorry to any Italians. On, is that E pronounced at the end? I don't now? know. That's a valid Italians, question. Can somebody weigh it? in? Uh, we need help. And then I was, and then I was, yes, I love the <laughs> reverb mic. I love the filigree on the Atlanta mm -hmm. as well. We'll visit that in a bit. <clears throat> So I, was, I typed out Firenze and then like put all of my type in that I like and then I typed out Italy and put all the type and then I, it's, just, it's like a fun puzzle where you try matching stuff up mm. with other stuff and see where you land. Is so this, these where, are the, this is where you land. These are the combos that I think m match nicely together. So we're just gonna like go through and test a few uh, simple combinations and and layers and then we're going to go into it like a deeper uh, editing of type and matching it with some illustration or some texture and see mm. some like general layout fun. So let's try a couple of things man. I like this uh, because this font has a bunch of um, alternates so that can be really easy and great for layering. Um, so, oh, I like that one. That one. So many different options. That feels too oh. Austrian to me. It does, doesn't it? I, I mean, great, but saying, a bit Austrian. Though. So a formal. Maybe we start with that one, yeah. which I had before, and I, I think these might go well with this kind of layering situation thing happening here. So I also like just sampled some of these colors from from these images up here to get a little palette happening. What font is that? It is, I'm fairly certain it's from Typekit and it's called Rosella. Rosella. Do you know that that is a type of bird in Australia as well? Noted. Noted. You've learned so much. You're such a good Australian with Thank your you. anthem. Thank you so much. And your bird knowledge <laughs> and your flower knowledge. <laughs> uh, so I think we can do some fun layering with this, but obviously like that's not, that's a bit intense, mm. but maybe we can. I'm getting hungry. Put the opacity down. Weird? 
I feel like oh. li like seeing no. these Italian fonts are like I'm thinking breadsticks. Yes. Okay, I'm so I'm Sonia. I am a legit celiac, not a you know not a pretend one. Oh. And Italy does. Such good gluten-free food. They I'm do. just so excited for it. That's really kind of them because I it's... just I'm just going there to eat. That's exclusively. You're why so I'm going brave, there. though. Be careful. Thank you. Thank Be you. Be careful. Oh no, they do it really well. They do. Don't accidentally eat anything. I won't. Any other celiacs no. out yeah. there? Yeah. Is anybody Shout else out. celiac? Or has any dietary requirements? Dietary restrictions. <laughs> Tell Go. me about it. <laughs> we want to know. We care. Um, we will support you. So I like how that's happening, but I think we can do some layering, which is what I had up. I started doing before. Is maybe we do? Mm. Hello, Bader, Bader, from Saudi. Maybe we need a red in there. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. They did a study and you're, they, they use like reds and yellows and greens the most for food. Um, because it makes people hungry. Because it makes people That's hungry. Very That's very clever. Fun fact, you know. Fun fact. You heard it here first. Jimmy can't eat onions. That's tragic. They had so much flavor, but I'm sure you can make do Oh, with, that without. is really hard. Yeah, so are hard, you though. like a FODMAPper? What? FODMAP. Diet. What's FODMAP? You can't eat onions and a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what? I That's have tricky. heard of this. I had a nutritionist friend yeah. tell me about it. It's very restricted. Yeah. Like no tomatoes either, right? Something like that. Going to Florence would be hard. Oh, I'll tell you what. Mm. Uh, I like this, and I think we can do... Ooh, that looks cool. Some... One thing we used to do at Williams Sonoma a fair bit that I liked, this is like the first way I learned how to do um, some some fun, simple layering of type. Um, so I have to outline this first. Always copy and paste before you outline. Good practice. There you go. Uh, no. You know when you do stuff a lot and then people are watching you do it? <laughs> and then you're like, ha, ah, how do I usually do this? We'll talk about oh, no. how <laughs> cutting out nightshades is really hard because it is. It um, is. It, it's probably really hard to stick to that, Lindsay. We all empathize greatly. But um, now I was going to try to make a suggestion I just can't think of. I've never quite done that, so. I wish you well, though. Have you cut out any items from your shades? diet or nightshade vegetables? Oh, no. oh, 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 oh! Yeah, like a uh, nightshades, um, I think mushrooms and stuff. I think I think nightshades is part of the FODMAP diet that you're talking about. Uh, I think people restrict. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, no, <laughs> we're I, learning I, so much. Together. I just think I cut. I have. I have to cut out enough with not being able to eat gluten that I won't do anything else. She just simply won't. It's just too much. Yeah, fair. It's just too much, everyone. And dairy's critical if you can stomach it, um, I feel, personally. Mm. Love that cheese. Mm. Love that cheese. Oh, you're going to eat so much cheese in Florence. Uh, has anybody else ever been to Florence? Yeah. And where is their favorite place? Because I would like some tips. Duomo. Brilliant. The Duomo is important, I've heard. Is that... The it's place. a big dome. That's the one that I showed. I think so. Is that that? That's, it might be. I'm going to do some research, guys. Cool, man. <laughs> it That's, is the Duomo. Yay. Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> Quick. Thanks. <laughs> Paco knows everything. Oh, Madeline is weighing in. She's oh. allergic to gluten, and she visited yes. Florence, and they had a lot of great options yes. for her. You're set. I'm excited. You're going to send your tree. You're going to go there. You're going to eat all the gluten-free options mm -hmm. and all the cheese, and then you're going to send these travel postcards to everybody. Yeah. Uh, Florence is expensive and can be very hot. Uh, sad about the expensive bit, but I am all there for the heat. Palazzo that's Pitti. That's all I want. That's all I want. <laughs> 
Oh, um, I'm gonna so start, I've, yeah. So I've done a couple of these just uh, things to work with. These are um, vectors that I, that are just like screenshots that I've downloaded, I've screenshotted from Adobe Stock just to see how they work. A hot tip for, for texturing is, or for even using stock photos in general, I just like screenshot them, you take them into Photoshop. Um, oh, actually, let's- Can we walk us through? Let's find something about? that I can do for that uh, without opening more programs. Okay. <laughs> Jen okay, loves let's your just accent, do this. By the way, <laughs> thanks, Jen. You just keep on, keep thanks. on, keeping on. <laughs> Sounding real good. Uh, so if you open Photoshop and I just let's just if you pull a, an image straight into Photoshop, say from stock. Uh, sometimes I like to see what it'll look like before I purchase it without like the stock on the it. And watermark. sometimes you want it, the watermark. Yeah. This, you, this works mostly best for textures and for icons. Mm -hmm. um, so pulling them in and then turning them into a bitmap so you can color them is really great. So uh, you have to turn it into a grayscale, mm -hmm. flatten, discard, and then bitmap it. And then it becomes like, uh, you know, it's not as good as the original, of course, but you at least have the shape of it and you can colorize it. So you can click into it. it you only get to put one color on it, but I can use it for mocking up and seeing how I like it before I actually use it. So that this is what I did with uh, this Vespa. Uh, you could redraw that or if you like want to work quickly, get something Goals. from Adobe, Adobe Stock, Goals. see if you if, see if it fits with your design, then you can purchase it later. But I just drew this quick little orange earlier because I really liked this orange uh, motif that's happening in a lot of these designs. It's a lot of apparently orange. Florence must have good oranges is what I've decided. Right, I was thinking, I was like, is that a tomato? It looks more like oh, an orange No, it's an orange. Okay, great. All right. I, so I had that thought though, because I right. think of tomatoes, but you know, so, oranges too. Oranges too. So we've got a like, nice, an idea, idea Aww, for this happening. Um, an idea for this direction. Um, what image are you going to pair with that top? With this top one? Mm -hmm. um, it might be that that this is a good thing to do, like Ooh, a different, so fancy. let me Dome run through like how I did this. Duomo it's, inspired. Uh, quite easy actually, it's just a, a bunch of copying and pasting. But if you create your oh. central circle, um, to base your rotation off of, um, and then create a line in the center. Oops, sorry, wrong tool. Uh, you click on that center point and however tall you want to make it. And this is different because there's uh, three levels. Sure. At, or there's between the two, there's three in between and they're different heights. So what I would do is Copy and uh, paste in front, which is F, Command F. Um, and then I'm just gonna like tap it down a couple of pixels, maybe 10, Smart. 11, 12, 12 pixels for the first one. And then we rotate it. I'm sure there might be some faster way of doing this that I'm unawares of, but. Um, you know, we all learn how to do things the hacky way we know how to do them. And, Always. And it works. That's the most important thing. So we just rotate it, um, I think like six degrees. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, but copy and paste in front and then do it. I did that one 12 and then a bit further. So maybe like another 10. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just creating the, that first set. Um, but I'm gonna do it at 12. A couple of chats I'm eager to read. 
Roman says Florida has been dethroned as the Orange King in response to our earlier conversation. <laughs> All hail Florence. <laughs> and Jan it. has jumped back onto the scene with an announcement that they're back like Joey, jumping back in the Adobe Life pouch. Brilliant. It's for you. It's for, it's it's for all you. For me. It's so there's so much Australian love Thank out there. Thank you so much, you guys. And you are being celebrated in this chat. I just had to share. <laughs> so I'm just adding six to each one. And now we have now we have our first set. It's one, two, three, four. And we can get grab it all and Make sure we have our center point. And what's 18 plus six? Do that math, quick, oh, in front of everyone. Uh, 24, <laughs> I think. Wait, is it? Oh, I don't know, I hate math. I think it's 20, it's 24. Great, great. Oh, uh, you were right, you were right. I know. Okay, okay. now I'm just gonna command D, command D, command Jeez, D, command D, command D. So much pressure, I'm so glad you're up for it. Thank you so much, I hate that. Oh so guys, I've created my spiral. Look at that. With two minutes to spare till chat and win. Oh my gosh, that, that went so quickly. We are so oh dear. quick. Also, another chat idea to share. It was suggested that we incorporate the Fleur de Lis since it's allegedly a Florence symbol. Is that what somebody said? Um, uh, can someone tell me, remind me what the fleur de lis is? I'm showing you. <laughs> Great. There, that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yeah. okay. Um, yes, let's Perhaps. try it. Let us try it. So I'm creating a mask here. I've just like, uh, minus out that inner circle from the outer circle. Mm. I've grabbed my whole spiral and grouped it together. And now I'm just gonna, Command seven, and I've made a mask, and I haven't destroyed any of my points. You can release that mask later if you want, or or if you end up needing more space in the center or less space, you just, you know, make it bigger, bigger or smaller sundial. So very cool. Yeah. You did that so quickly. Um, you know what? I just, you just figure out how to do it once, and then you repeat it. Mm. Heard that, guys. Confidence. And now you've figured out how to do it once. <laughs> I'd like to make, I think I might need a couple more options for this just in down the line. So I think I'll make one that's a bit more angular that mm. I might be able to use by... This is the quick way to Gideon, do it. Gideon, we're not about to end. We we have. We're just um, about to. We just started. Yeah, we just started 29 minutes ago, to be exact, with one minute until our oh, less than a minute till our chat and win. So get ready and share. Um, mm, what's our question going to be? What is your favorite Italian dish? And if you want to keep on chatting, you can tell us how it makes you feel. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait. Wait. Is it time? Is it time? Yes. It's nearly time. It is almost time. <laughs> We're so bad at this We're timing. We're so bad at this timing. <laughs> We're going to play the video. We're going to play the video. <laughs>
maybe. Maybe. If we tried, well. sorry, Jen. You are the w you are the winner. You are the chat and win winner. We are Yay, done Jen. chatting and winning, but we care so much about your chicken fettuccine and lasagna and stuffed shells, Jen. And ravioli. And ravioli. And Sicilian pizza makes yes. me feel blissful. Yes. Oh, and garlic God. bread with cheese. Nice one. Good addition, Jen. Um, our Adobe Live team will be in touch um, to deliver Get your gift you that to you. Sweet, sweet gift. Sweet. Thanks for participating. Yeah. Okay, so I've, I'm just back here making this Where little- Where are you? The banner. This little Dubalaki banner. Um. Ah, there she is. <laughs> All right. No pasta on a sandwich, please. Every time you do something like that- An, an Italian, Italian does! does. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, Valentina. Valentina. I'm sorry. <laughs> What if it I was... asked if it was Australian for the record? I knew it wouldn't yeah, be Italian. No, it's definitely bastardized. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not authentic. And I apologize. <laughs> I've been chastised. <laughs> An Italian died. <laughs> okay, so we we've got a couple that. of banners to work with. Um, we've got some of these dubalakis. Victoria, our our topic today is uh, our our friend Christina Cox, visual designer extraordinaire, is walking us through how to design a travel postcard for Florence. Um, so she shared some themes, some general ideas from her Pinterest board, and some different fonts. And she's walking us through how she's treating everything, mm. combining it all together. Doing a little little test here for what a offset thing might feel like. Like, Ooh. oh no, we didn't get the printing right, but it's cool. <laughs> I didn't know? think that, I didn't think that at all. You didn't think it was cool? No, I didn't think oh. that you didn't get the printing right. Oh. I thought it was you automatically it was cool. cool. Yeah, I, yeah. It didn't go through that cool. second step. <laughs> Great, thanks man. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this is feeling a bit tall. It's tall and pointy. It's tall and pointy. <laughs> it's tall and pointy. I might want a little short and stubby one instead. That reminds me of, um, has anyone here been to Italy in New York City? It's not, it's Italy? not Italy. It's called e Italy, like with eat, Ali. I love that. It's a really special place. No, I've yeah. not been there. Tell us about it. It's um, this big, happy Italian zone that has like four different restaurants inside of it and they have like a fish restaurant and they have a cheese zone. And they cheese have zone! But cheese zone, exactly. <laughs> My the cheese home. zone is where I live. <laughs> yes, precisely. And then they also have like excited. a dessert zone <laughs> with calzones and the like. Um, or not calzones, yeah, calzones. Oh. I don't. Oh, Italy is in Chicago too, Carolyn? Who knew? I didn't, oh, there's one in LA. Sorry guys, I only know the, the, oh, Samantha loves Italy too. Yeah, the New York one was just groundbreaking. I mean, I just spent so much time there. Um, yeah, I wonder when they opened in Chicago and LA. But regardless, we should focus on going to Florence and not going to Italy. Yeah, it's just not the focus same up. thing. It's not the same thing. <laughs> oh, it's starting. So, you start. know, this could be one of Ooh. the directions. We want it to feel like a, a to fill out a, a um, postcard shape. So soon I think I'll take it into oh. into that postcard shape and just see how it looks in a as a rectangle, you know? I love that. Well, look, we've got a little bit of a start here. I, we It could be cool to do something with Vespa this, something Vespa-ish, like. It's so chic to write a Vespa, those Italians. Those Italians, they know what's up, man. They do, they really do. The fashion, the food, the transportation. The transportation. I would be really bad at writing a Vespa, though. Just putting that out there. Yeah, it seems kind of dangerous. Right? You, know, you don't I mean, 
We're cautious. Uh, We're uh, cautious. I don't know about that. We'll see. Let's move on. Uh, the fleur de lis. that I've I, I drew some of these because I uh, really liked this Atlanta thing, so I knew this would take a little while to draw. So I did some pre prepping, if you will. Pre prepping. Pre prepping. prepping. Maybe just prepping is the way to say that. Uh, <laughs> drew a couple of shapes, did some yeah. little things we can put together with other little things. Oh, you have and then all I've just like screenshotted a bunch of. Screenshot. Screenshot. Screen, uh, some yeah. inspiration. Some inspiration for for like lockups. So let's. Hey, David. Uh, oh, yes, of course. Suh, dude. Suh. 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 You have to say it lazily, too. You can't say it with too much enthusiasm. It just doesn't fit. No, you just like, gotta be like, super chill about it. Suh. So. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna bring over some of these. Do I say so too too often? No. So I'm just hyper sensitive <laughs> to everything you're saying right now, yeah. given the, the liveness of the it all. The truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all are. Let's start the, with this one. I like I like this direction a bit. Yeah. I like what I like to do with this kind of type. Now that we. Um, I'm going to bring back my live type because I want to edit this a little bit. It's good we have that direction, but let's let's refine it. Refine. Refine. Um, How about we do that? I like looking at glyphs and seeing if they have any cool like versions of alternates Ooh. that I like before I start playing with the type too much. Um, eh, not that one. Uh, maybe that's fine, as is. Um, but what could I do? I could make the F a little um, lower here to kind of hug the, the end of the Italy. What is the Australian equivalent <laughs> to Jersey Shore? Oh dear. Also, Jen, I oh, eat the spaghetti to forget the regretti. Oh, yeah. I did my very best in trying to convey that, that accurately, beautiful. given your you really chosen spelling of each word in that quote. Uh, thank you for the guidance, Jen. You guys know how I like to lock up uh, if you've watched any of the other days. Oh, you do love like your lockup. Some, some little drop capping <laughs> happening. <laughs> some lazy drop capping. She's all about that. Uh, How is that lazy? Well, no, it's not. It's no. not. It's fine. Um, it's cohesive. It's it cohesive. hugs. This is the same font. I've just got it spelling for ends instead. Because sometimes, if you've got the opportunity of changing what the word says, sometimes it looks better as a different <laughs> word. Great point. <laughs> so, you know, we we do that as an option, uh, or have it have it there to satisfy us. I think Hug. I'll change the. Spacing of that a little bit, and there's some little things we can do to fancy fancy this type up a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. You could, like I've done here already, do a little, little bit of a drop shadowing. Um, I think it works best if you have a slightly thicker stroke than your top. So if I've got a two point stroke on that, and I offset this a little bit and have that Ooh. one point stroke, it just connects these edges a little more, uh, makes it look m more shadowy. Yeah. It's like the cheek it quickly of doing that. More. And then that white stroke is kind of uh, creating the illusion of the separation of lines. Like you've done a, you could create that by offsetting, minusing the top from the back, creating your own shadow. Uh, which is what you might do, what you might need to do if this was like a tin design and you're doing layers of embossing and you had to be, you had to have like specific embossed bits. Sure. You have to have those shapes for the printer, but this 
different considerations for it's different print. formats. That's fine. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Um, we could put this end down a bit, but I don't think it necessarily. You want to try that hug? <laughs> hug that. <laughs> hug it. No, I think I want to try some other type stuff, so I don't want to spend too much time perfecting this one. Um, but we could do some quick little highlights, highlighty lines. Um, give it some more depth. Yeah, just like fancy up that type a little bit. I'm being um, pretty quick about this, but <laughs> you could lit take. design, bruh. It's lit. Thanks, bruh. Bruh. I'm just taking where I think like a highlight mark would be and just doing one one quick one. Minimal. Minimal. Mm. But it's just, you know, adding Minimal, a different layer effective. a different layer to this type so it's not just the type that you typed out. You know? Christina, you are so talented. I love it, says Jen. Jen, thank you so much. So much love, only positivity. <laughs> this is a very positive community. It's been very lovely to be a part of it. I was definitely nervous. <laughs> You're a star. But we shouldn't have been, should we? Never. Um, they might be too long, these ones. You don't, don't really need that that much uh, light happening. <laughs> and maybe we make it a different color so it's different to that white stripe on the outside. Let's try it. We, we never, never know. It is so true. It is crazy how a tiny little line can change the whole design. Yeah, Good right. Point, Jimmy. Oh yeah. Actually, we'll I might want to sample this brighter yellow down here, this lemony kind of yellow. Um, make sure it's a stroke. <laughs> Ooh. That could be something. Don't chuck anything out too soon. No. You don't know what it'll turn out to be. So you could do that. I actually think I probably like the white lines a bit better than that yellow line. It's a bit different to what in the design otherwise. A bit different to all the other colors. Let's try a dark one. It's looking nah. so good. Let's go back to the white. Or the, the off-white, rather. Yeah, so that's something. We could do, we could, you know, go back to our trusty, I uh, did a radial, a couple of radial things, but we could try doing this as a texture in the background. You know, drawing attention oh, to Oh, I like that. that. That could be cool. It's in the center, all the eyes center. focused. Um, I think what ha needs to happen here, though, if you have a background texture and you want your foreground to pop, I think what we'll need to do, and I don't know why that happens, but sometimes that happens. I think what we'll need to do is highlight this whole lock up. I'm gonna copy it and paste it in front. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said I'm fine. And <laughs> create outlines. Maybe object expand to make sure everything's expanded. Expand a couple of times. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. Oh, whoa. It, oh, it was picking the wrong thing. Ooh, all Let's of go it back in black looked kind of cool too by accident. Yeah. Or maybe or whatever it's turning on. I'm just going to pull this off to the side a bit so that we're not confused about what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> copy, paste. I'll move it off to the side while I do this. You just want to make all of them outlines because what we're going to do um, is do an offset uh, object and. We're making a background, basically um, we're making like a background frame for it so sure. that it pops. Um, with those lines, right? The circle lines. With the circle lines, so it pops um, out from there. So I've just combined that whole shape and mm. then I'm gonna go, actually an easy way to do this so that you can adjust the lines is to just add a stroke to that and make sure that you have your 
things all um, Layers. curved curved off your yeah. your strokes. Um, I'm gonna do like a 30 and then send it to the back and move it back behind here. So now we've got our little frame for it that oh, we can adjust nice. the stroke for. And I'm just gonna bring this back over. Send it to the back and pull it over oh, here. That way it pops. That way it just has a bit of a framing. Um, yeah, and you can adjust the the width of this stroke. Sure, maybe like... So it's a little less thick. Yeah, a little thinner. Just have to move it out of the way. Maybe we'll do 20. Let's move this back. Next oh, and uh, be sure to submit your portfolios. We'll be reviewing them at approximately 2.30. So if you just click in the um, portfolio review tab in the chat, um, you can submit from there. Just a reminder, you know. Just a reminder. Just, just a little, little, we little put reminder. Put it out there. We want to see your work. We like it. Okay, oh, so cool. that's one quick iteration. I want to, and we've, we've got, we've already kind of got this one uh, as an option. That one's really fun. That's a bit fun. Mm -hmm. We want to make that the same color so it looks like, it's just like a little fakey looking like it's the same part of the background. I don't like that these are black because I really like this blue color that mm -hmm. we, these blues that we're working with over here. I think that color palette, the red and the yellow and the blue together are cool. Um, I think all of this would look better as well with texture. So we'll get to that with like oh. a textured overlay or something. Cool. But this is like the general structure of it for now. It's a place we've landed. Um, let's tackle. Jen wants this you to direction. upload these to Behance. I will. I will. Um, I'll, I'll make sure of it to make do sure it soon. Make sure you put it there. So this one, what I had done was you can, s I, I took a lot of oh. this inspiration from, or this like direction from that Atlanta one and then just like, added a few extra flourishes and kind of um, changed the curves a little bit. But what I want to do is take this curve here and try and make, uh, run my type along it. But I really liked how that drop cap, that um, Atlanta cap came down. Um, so I'm just going to make an arch. There's a bunch of different ways that you can uh, augment type. Mm. Um, and oh, I definitely don't know all of the ways and I definitely just uh, like fumble around until I've found the one that I think oh. looks the best. Or, or, or you watch a lot of videos, tutorials, try and find one that's doing the thing that you want it to do. So we can do, um, oh, do this a couple like a of ways. A bit like a fishy. Yeah. Uh, we can do this a couple of ways. I think the type that works best for this lockup will be a really geometric one. I don't think that that these um, organic looking ones, the brushy, they're already, they're already flowier. Yeah, and I don't think it'll work with my with like altering the type. I think they'll get too warped. Warped. Good one. Yeah, I was going to use a different word for that, but warped. Yes. So I think what I'll need is something like this, but I want to just start with the filled in version of that, not the inline. Uh, solid. Mm. So, how long are you going to be in Florence? Uh, just less than a week, I think. And uh. then we're going to the Amalfi Coast for a few days. Sounds magical i know yeah we are yeah. all jealous gotta get a bit of that beach time in thanks for kind of taking us there today yeah. with you thank you for coming with me Aww. 
So I think the <laughs> F probably stands out from the uh, rest of the lockup. I don't think it's affected by the um, type. I'm just going to move this to a bottom layer that I can lock. There we go, so that I can select stuff and doesn't move around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think this goes here. I think this will will try to do a couple of different ways. I I don't know which way will be the most successful. So let's just try a couple of the versions, shall we? We shall. shall we, we shall. Reboot. Text on the curve isn't always great. Yep, that's yeah. so true. Which is why I think I don't know if this is the way to go. Uh, uh, work in it's progress. It's fine. That let's keep that off to the side because that's fine but you're right I don't think it's doing uh, the thing I want it to do so I think if we duplicate that I'm just holding down the alt key and the shift key and dragging it mm -hmm. and I'm going to create a frame a frame for that is a tool that I really like this um, connect anchor points. You connect two points and then it just creates a line between them. Nice. Um, so I'm creating this frame. This is one of the ways that this might work. Uh, and sometimes it gets wacky if the type isn't outlined, which is interesting. Interesting. Uh, if it's like live type, it doesn't work well. Um, so I'm going to try and get it a like similar height. Ish. I see. Play with the current a bit, says Reverb. Play Recommends Reverb Mic. Yes. Um, yeah, that's best to do when the type's still live because it's much easier to do. Um, so we could, yeah, we could stretch it out or make it. I, I'm interested to see what will happen when we try and warp it. So we can do, make sure this is in front. Bring to front, and then you go warp, envelop, distort, make with top object. Ah. Okay, this is <laughs> interesting. Uh, arrange, make sure it's bring to front. That is one object. Let's create a. Make sure it's one object, and then. Oh, it could be that they're on different layers. Uh, yeah. That might be it. Just at a slight oh, angle and it's could not. be tasty. Yeah. Orange, print to front. Okay, so. Back to our envelope to store. Mm. Make with top object. It's a bit whoopy still. Bit. This happens sometimes when um, one of the is like, oh, there's an extra. That's what's happening. What happened? Somehow it's adding in an extra, like these uh, points that like they added, it added an extra point. It doesn't like these handles or something. Mm. So sometimes that is a bit wacky. And you just have to try and try again. Roll with the punches, you know. Roll with the punches. I've got one more way of doing this um, that might work better. Nice. Yeah. It's making, it's like adding an extra point in there. And making it taller than and you intended. Taller. So if we can... Um, Hmm. Med, what was your favorite um, thing that you did in the Amalfi Coast? We can we can gather Ooh, some recommendations yes. for Christina. Please. Okay, won't let me do that. So let's go back. That's it's not happy. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine because we can. Warp it, says Kim. Yeah. Yeah, Kim. Warp it. We got it. We got it. Let's try warping it. I think it's the way to go. Ooh, it's looking really promising. That so it is. So we've got... Okay. 
Warp Rise. Warp this Rise. Is what David is suggesting. Yep, cancel. Ah, three parts to the coast. Do tell, do tell, Ned. And we still have 30 minutes till the portfolio review, so we highly encourage you to submit your portfolios. Click in the um, portfolio review tab in the chat and submit mm -hmm. from there. Get some feedback, some high fives. Yeah, let us some, see your work, some you guys. Some love, you know, just some love from over here. That's pretty good and pretty close. It's a little warpy. Um, but, oh, no, what I'm going to do is... Just... You don't want to make it too much fatter, because then it'll, it won't look like it's part of the... You want it to match to a you degree. You want to match to a degree. Um, but you also want it to be longer than it is. So... Just making it a bit bigger that way. And this is warped a bit to make it a bit fatter too, so we can make it slightly bigger. Ah. So we don't want to change the any of the heights like too it's not much. crazy disproportionate. But we can do this for the whole thing. Something's a happening. Something's a happening. Okay, so uh, I admit, I did do one earlier that worked out better than this. Mm. Um, you got, are you going to Martha Stewart us right now? I'm going to Martha Stewart She's going to Martha Stewart us. Turn your, avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. Something's coming out of the oven. Um, Dimitri has a really good question yeah. while you're revealing yeah. your prepped work. Yeah. Uh, Dimitri Thanks is wondering who no, is your no, favorite no. graphic designer, Christina? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's right. That is a real tricky one. You guys hmm. can weigh in too in the chat if you have some, if you're if you're fanning hard. Um, yeah, tell us who your favorites are as well. I think I, I follow a lot of really cool designers on Instagram, which is great, like inspiration, mm -hmm. daily inspiration. Um, Ooh, I love that. My, my sister, so yeah, look, I just, when I prepared earlier, it's still, it's still too, uh, a bit too like mangled, uh, a bit too warpied, I think. Um, my sister is a soft sculpture artist mm. and she's incredibly talented and awesome. Uh, she soft does not sculptures. have much of an online presence. <laughs> Uh, but she's very, very talented. And my mum is also an incredible artist and has taught me everything I know, <laughs> except for what I learned on the job. So much pride. Uh, <laughs> so I'd say they inspire me a lot, for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, how about everybody else? We have Aaron Dr Draplin, Milton Glazer, Sergio Toppy Comics. Oh, that's what I did with this Polisher. one that was better. You guys. Glenn Barr for illustrations. Oh, this is awesome. Very cool. I've got to revisit this. Can you tell us about your soft sculpture making sister? What kind of soft sculptures are these? Uh, she does a bunch of different work. She's done a series with the, uh, of a bunch of printmaking, taking out our great grandmother's prints that she made oh. and uh, creating new beautiful uh, wearable art, skirts and, you know, dresses and stuff. Wow. But also has done a bunch of awesome puppetry. Puppets, right. Yeah. I saw a, a soft sculpture art show in the, within the past year and that's what made me kind of curious about it. These were like, yeah. these were stuffed animals, but like not stuffed animals. They Much were like, more. they like took up the whole room and were like, Really abstract, like snaky. Yeah, cool. Like big though, and yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. artist, you know, made a bunch of big stuffed things. Yeah, that that's like a took up a whole gallery. Bunch it was fascinating. Of really cool uh, uh, indigenous artists, mm. Australian indigenous artists that make really beautiful, um, really cool um, soft sculptures. 
um, that are of of um, different animals with different like weaving techniques. Wow. And, yeah, it's different really cool. textiles. So what I did here that I forgot that I'd done, but I like <laughs> I'm remembering and I love it, uh, <laughs> is just the like uh, super easy to to draw these out to to like grab those. Um, let me lock the layers that I need to lock so it makes this easier. The layers. Um, let me pull it down to the left layer. But just grab like the bottom points and drag it. I think it was up here and I dragged it down. So now it's just like slightly different and it feels like feels like the Italy belongs in the Firenze. Oh, it is properly hugged. Um, I should have learned how to say that word properly before we started this live stream so I didn't look like Which one? Such a dum dum. Yeah. Uh, Firenze. Firenze. <laughs> Do you guys think there's an E at the end, or is it Finn? I don't, Paul, I don't Firenze. know Rod Luff or Ken Taylor, um, but I will look them up. It is Firenze. Firenze. All right, okay. it's been confirmed. Right. We've been right this whole time. We've been right this whole time, we're amazing. Never doubt yourself. We're amazing, never doubt, no, never I'm doubt always yourself. right. Um, <laughs> Right, exactly. So the other one that I had done that, that worked out well, I think I'd just like done the curves slightly less curved and that's why the warp <laughs> worked. Because sometimes it just like wax out and I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm definitely uh, having a meeting this afternoon with a bunch of the Illustrator <laughs> team so oh. I, can, I can ask them about why that doesn't work. Get some questions answered. Yeah, totally. We want to know. Totally. Um, <laughs> So that worked, and, and the same thing that I did, I just like, this is slightly less warped because it's a bit shorter and a bit taller, so everything fits a bit better, but this F was just a, an F, and I did the same thing that you just seen me do. I like tapped mm -hmm. it down, it was up here, I tapped it down one, it was up, tapped it down, uh, so it fits in with that shape. There we are. There we go. So good. Um, all right, and then, such different directions. Oh, and look, I did the highlights so much better here. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Surprise yourself. This is great. You guys, I, 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 I wanted to do, I did such a good job before when I wasn't live on TV mm. or on the, the interwebs. You've done a fantastic job live to Chrissy. Thank you. I just, uh, there's been some great, I've like done a, these past few days, done a, a bit of prep to make sure that I had somewhere that I liked that we were going, but there were such good things from the suggestions that mm. everything has ended up being slightly different to, to what I thought that I would do. You Input, know? you know, Input Input's is been key. great. It's great to start somewhere uh, and then have some great art direction from Thanks some awesome to people. You guys. All the talent. All the talent. Um, so I think I had like shorter ones that looked a bit better, blah, blah, blah. And I think what is throwing me off is I think this red is too red. I think it needs to be this like lighter red that I had earlier um, that I'd forgotten about. I'd sampled the, the harsher red. So that's kind of mm. nice. Um, but I want to, so there's one other direction that I, that I, thought about and haven't haven't fully baked. So let's try one more thing. One more. <laughs> Dimitri says he's delighted with the works of Natasha Jen from Pentagram. Ooh. Renowned place. Also, I like oh. design works of mm, Ermolev Bureau. Absolutely brilliant, hmm. Dimitri thinks. Awesome. We must check these I, out. I will check those out. Um, so going in this kind of, uh, it's kind of like a old Roman slash French direction. I really like all of the, these like little flourishes, mm. if you will. Um, we have, we have this font that I still want to use because I think it's the best for, out of all of them that I've chosen at least, the best for warping. Even though it hasn't worked it's great yet, it is warpable. Warpable. <laughs> Fun new word. Um, and I want to do, I think I want to do my own flourishes. So I want it just a solid, you could start with any of these if it's, you know, if you know you want an inline, <laughs> start with an inline and then you don't have to do anything. But I think I want to make my own 
uh, my own flourishes. So I'm going to start with this. And I think I want it uh, warped on a curve, on a central curve, because I think what I want to do is have the, the Florence hugging the Italy, but only on the bottom. Okay, got you. Uh, is this similar to what we did for Aladala earlier this week? No, that was just like some type editing a little, but I'm gonna actually not arc it. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I'm going to arc lower, yeah. but oh, bend different. the opposite I see, direction. I see, like this. I see. So you can do that, and then I know it looks a bit smushy right now. Mm. Don't worry. Smushy. It is a little smushed. It's a little smushed. But don't worry, everyone. Chill. Nobody's because worried. We're not worried. Nobody's worried. No, no. I'm glad. It's chill. It's almost Friday, guys. I don't know where my... I don't know where my editor points went. This is... Uh, Another one of those things that is great to happen just while you're live. Paul Hi, shared a new word, and we're I'm thrilled by it. It's Adobe Kadabra. Adobe Kadabra, warpable. I love it. We made it. It's our word child from today. Mm, I don't know about that one. Warp with no, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Sorry, that was. <laughs> That was uh, not because I'm just distracted. <laughs> no, uh, it wasn't. No, no, I, I'm with you on that, all of it, which is why Adobe Kadabra, way to go with that hashtag Voodoo Val. It's gonna be um, new, newly incorporated in my social media, for sure. So this has, this, you guys, this has worked before it has. Uh, here, we here we go. Maybe we're on the right track now. It usually has editable points, is the thing. <laughs> no, Roman, stop with that. Stop it, Roman. <laughs> Created a beautiful word trial? Yes. Oh, yes. No. Okay, usually they're e like editable points. And I don't know what's happening, and you know, That's this okay. this stuff happens. But I've just uh, made the art and then stretched it out so that it feels a bit more like a proper the proper word. Grand. Ooh, but That's actually, what I wanted to do, let's step it back. Let's you know rewind. not lose this. Let's rewind to that. But what I wanted to actually do was take the F and the E off and have them separate and just have the central letters um, arc. Um. So that I can edit these separately. This makes sense. But this sense. is arced. I keep pressing arc when I really mean arc lower. Uh, here we go. Cool. So, you know, imagine there are usually edit, edit points that you can pull these down. Um, and we're going to create outlines. And I'm just going to, once again, pull some of these down so it makes it feel like it's longer. Oh, I don't want that point. A little longer, but not too much longer. But I want some kind of matching of this arch that we've created. This kind of general. I'm gonna align these two. Hi, Salman. Oh, Paul, what a great idea. Just going back in the chat, we were saying editable, which then turned into, that sounds like edible, and then that turned into edible Italy. vectors. <gasps> edible vectors. And then it's the suggestion now has new come up the future. that new Adobe fit? start our own candy line and call it edible, ed edible vectors. I'm so down with that. 
Guys, this this chat is is an idea machine. I mean, we just got to fire. Keep, yeah, we're on fire. <laughs> Adobe Candy Line New Frontier. I do really like candy a lot. <laughs> As do I. I really do. It's been a problem. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still, I'm stretching out this E as well. Oh, Serial uh, says, if you click on the word again on the top bar, there should be a warp icon, which will show the points. You're a genius! <laughs> Thank you. You fixed everything! <laughs> ah, Serial! This Surreal is for, for the you. Uh, would you like to come here? <laughs> come here, give her a hug. <laughs> Um, this is great because now I can edit my points a bit more. Beautiful. I think I should have, what, would have, uh, it's, uh, the points are a bit weird now because it's already on a warp. Um, it's okay. It's okay, everyone eat though, pretty neat. Really neat. <laughs> and we can do, Trial and error, everyone. You do a bunch of different ways, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, great. This like is what life. I wanted. It's a life. metaphor. Life. It's, it's a, a metaphor. metaphor. Deep. Okay, perfect. Let's just pull that off to the side to get that out of the way. Oh. Somebody wants to know your yeah. graphic design story. You touched on it a little bit yeah. earlier in the week. Yeah. But tell us, how did you get here? What creative endeavors brought you to us? Yeah. Um, I. So I started out uh, finishing high school and going to uh, fashion design school. Young little Christina Young little in Australia. Christina. Wanted to follow in my great grandmother's footsteps and be an incredible dressmaker and printmaker and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then ended up deciding to go to art school after after a year of fashion school. Um, and sorry, uh, <laughs> two things at once. Uh, okay. And. <laughs> Then studied, uh, majored in jewelry design and did a Bachelor of Fine Arts at um, a school in Australia. And, uh, New South Wales. 16 minutes left until portfolio submission deadline. Thanks, Voodoo Bell. It's coming up. Uh, yes, in New South Wales. And I really loved being able to make uh, heirloomy things. And so I really loved jewelry um, and did that started my own jewelry line, sold jewelry, and then um, I just happened to a friend happened to ask me to do some graphic design work for them, um, and I learned how to make my own website for to start my business, and had to just like you know learn how to do general graphic design stuff, um, and ended up. Up. Ended up doing more and more graphic design, and then and then I started uh, at William Sonoma on the um, web and uh, uh, first on the web team, and then on the uh, e-marketing. Uh, sorry, web and e-marketing team, and then on the packaging team. <laughs> oh oh my gosh, doing three things at once! No, you are so good. Um, graphic designer yeah, says. Did, oh, continue. Sorry. No. Did a bunch of packaging design and that was awesome as well. And then I ended up working for a um, a awesome startup here in San Francisco called Propeller Design, Propeller Health, sorry, Propeller Design, doing design. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, loved it there. Got to do a bunch of different design there. And then now I'm here at Adobe. Yay! We're so glad you are. On the are. Spark team. The Spark, S-P-A-R-K. Spark <laughs> team. I'll help you with my Spark. American accent in this in this situation. Yeah, um, it's awesome. <laughs> if you haven't checked out Spark, it's a great product. Um, Google it. Goog. Um, graphic designer summed that up as it's in your blood. So it's in your blood. It's uh, in your blood. It's in my blood. Yeah, she's got well, that my, creative sensibility. I would say my, my dad is an architect and my mom is uh, an architect and artist. Oh. 
Um, so, yeah. Team Spock. <laughs> Team Spock. Just celebrating you. <laughs> Just celebrating you. Um, yeah, so that's how I got here. A lot of um, learning stuff on the job. I learned, like I said on the first day, I learned a lot on the packaging team at Williams Sonoma with my awesome friends over there, Dawn and, and Shayna. Um, and yeah. Cool. Learned a lot by setting setting lots of projects and trying out lots of new styles and yeah, you know, trial and error, everyone. Just like right now, what's happening? <laughs> You're watching it live. <laughs> it's live, you know. Um, but it's so cool. Through all of those experiences, they brought you here. Yeah. Life's a journey, guys. Yeah. For <laughs> shiz. So I think I like this kind of 1920s mm. font, not in all caps. Italy. Uh, has anybody else uh, done done jewelry or had some we had interesting some, uh, yeah. path to get to where they're at right now? Who was it? was it? Michael pa and Paul. Paul was saying that he did three years of metalsmithing and that it was oh, an amazing wow. experience. That's incredible. Hmm. People are inspired. Jewelry inspired, that is. Fantastic. I've made some uh, beads out of ceramics and strung them right. on a necklace. Did that, but you know. Hey, you know, there's lots of different ways. It doesn't all have to be ways. metal making. Also, um, jewelry is a very expensive. Uh, oh my gosh, it's true. The endeavor. materials, the material cost itself is. Uh, it's true. You know, when I was a, a <laughs> young art student, <laughs> quite hard. Adobe Live once had a macaroni necklace and wanted to share. I appreciate that, Adobe Live. <laughs> Did you make said macaroni? I just had it. Or just had one, just, just owned one. <laughs> just owned one and really yeah. needed to. Well, you know, great. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Style, mm. that style. Oh, wow, Paul's instructor for metalsmithing actually had him learn Illustrator. That's really cool, yeah, cool. and interesting, just using the tools to refine your Totally. Your and they're, analog, you know. Totally, processes. and uh, yeah, there's so many um, awesome t new tools now that you can use to, to get to some mix of uh, the old ways of doing the stuff old ways and, like, and new, new ways, ways of prototyping, yeah. Yeah. Actually, we're going to be um, hosting a workshop at Adobe that's going to incorporate screen printing um, with ceramics, so we're going to be screen printing designs onto ceramics with liquid clay. So, so, so yeah, cool. all kinds of ways you can combine digital and analog. Totally, super neat. Just trying to find a happy place where that doesn't look too wacky. Oh, what um, is the typeface Italy is in, and what you're working on right now? The typeface is Chesterfield regular. Chesterfield. Sorry, you're, you're, it's like <laughs> contagious sometimes when people have an accent. I don't know. I, or that's different. I get it. Different when from I mine. when I am with any of any of my friends who have British accents, totally I like suddenly rude. have a very fancy Australian accent. <laughs> Where did this come from? Uh, the portfolio deadline is happening in approximately ten minutes, Victoria, and we're going to be reviewing two ten of minutes. them. Yeah, wow, this is so, not a lot of you know, time. get them in. It's uh, in that tab in the chat that says portfolio review. Cool. Chesterfield. Exactly, Chesterfield. Michael. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, fit, make a bit of a uh, fit this in a bit. I'm trying a couple of different things to fit this arc, but I don't think that don't think that's the way to go. Let's go back. 
Cool. Um, but I'd like to fill in this space with with like another would you illustration. Make, would you pull that up, or are you going to add something I'm else? Just like, I okay. See. Well, in in uh, the eight minutes you know, till portfolio reviews. Yeah, I want to do some right. like time. I want to do some like type stuff. So I won't take too long on perfecting this because this could take a a while. Perfect. Uh, so let's do like some quick quick filler illustrations. But what I was gonna do up here is I think I like this duplicated and like we said that offset um I really like that A offset in Italy thing. yeah me too it's yeah, a good A it's a really good A David I don't know why the flourishes are so awesome but they are <laughs> that's very sweet of you David I don't know what's happening with my offsetting right now. There we go. It's just moving very slowly. So I want like a little bit of a an interesting offset. It might catch up eventually. Oh. Okay, that'll do. Mm -hmm. And then for this, another way of doing, I like cool drop shadows that are, um, uh, here we go, mm. that have a bit of a uh, pattern to it. So let's expand this Pattern. and fill it in and create our own little Oh, uh, Amberly. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in graphic design. Oh, what did it say? Hold on. This is really good. Everyone should hear it. Now I'm in graphic design school because I stopped listening to all the adults telling me I cannot make art a career. LOL. I'm 31. Yeah, good for, one. for you, Amberly. Yeah. You go, you make your art, you live your life. Totally. You can do it. We all believe in you. Um, so we used the blend tool yesterday. I'm gonna use it again today just for uh, time's sake. Mm -hmm. um, creating that drop shadow effect. Um, uh, yeah, that's okay. So I'm gonna say object expand. And then I'm going to combine all of these into one shape because we're going to use it as a um, trim path. Oh, it's moving slowly. It doesn't like it. Mm. This is where we all, all always remember that Chrissy hasn't pressed save yet. <laughs> this is when we and all we for the take best. stock of that heavy, yeah, yeah. heavy and fact. And we remember. We will we'll remember. always say Command S. <laughs> we will remember Every the designs minutes. that were once on our screen. Oh, hope we can revive them Let's through a simple open that. later yeah, yeah, in yeah. our future. Oh, the beach ball of death. Oh. We wait. Hi, Olivier. Oh. What? There's just so I'm much just reading through. Yeah, everyone's here. so lovely. So much good. I'm so I'm so glad uh, it helps your for your inspiration, Amberly. Uh, even I was watching earlier today. I was watching the hoods Hoods by, and hoods by Designs. Andrew and thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to go home and try this all myself. This will be amazing. Safe and sound. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, a lot to pick up on. All right, guys, we're going to, we're yeah. just gonna hope that it restores something. I also have a couple of things that we can continue with this same thing, even if I force quit. So look, nobody's even worried. Everything's fine. I'm just crying on the inside. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Smile real big. Your outsides will believe you, or your exactly. insides will believe exactly. you. <laughs> we're not dying. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's open back up. There's four minutes until the portfolio yeah. deadline. It's true. And look, Illustrator might have recovered something. Yeah, there's Let's hope. hope. Let's hope. It did! Huzzah! You guys, we're all okay. The design right. gods are watching out. And now we're just gonna save it quickly. There we Great. are. Okay, so what what happened there is that that there were too many steps in between that I didn't need. 
and it freaked out. So I'm just going to make the that blend step less than a thousand, which is definitely not what it needed. Um, And let's make it like 20 steps. Yeah, cool. cool. Nailed it, everybody, nailed it. <laughs> As per mm. usual. Um, and now we're going to expand. Great, and... Oh, come on. Victoria asks Great. about That's folder easy. structure. Oh. oh, oh, folder structure. What a beast. Um, <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Christina. Uh, my, I actually, actually today was thinking my folder structure is terrible and I really need to be better at it. Mm. Um, ways to improve. So ways to improve, yeah, growth areas mm. is what we should call them. So I'm just, uh, oh, Command cool. D, Command D, Command D. Let's, cause I've clicked, Some I clicked shade. and dragged and then I, Press Command D, Command D, Command D, and I'm making this like this one pattern. And now we're going to group it all together, send it to the back, and then use this as our trim path for that. So if you say Command H, it just makes sure that it's one compound path. And then Command 7, and we've got our little Shadow. Cool, your textured shadow. Textured shadow. And we're less than two minutes away from Less than two minutes away, oh my go. gosh. Ah. Ah. So, let's reflect this. Cool, there we are. And create this shape. There we are, there symmetry. We are. All is and right oh, with the world. Oh, oh, what we didn't do was, do you remember we this week, if you've been watching, we had Chow from, oh, Chow. whatever. Chow, we have greeting, to say our salutations. Our salutations from. So we have to say, I, I let, I'm just gonna make an executive decision. I was decision. gonna say, I don't think we even need to discuss this. I mean, it's yeah. so clear it's what so the choice clear. would be. Oh, and we had it all in Hanley, so that it was a uh, the same all around. There. Um, let's make it. White, say, make just a little frame. Um, let's quickly. Almost, almost 30 seconds till portfolio submission deadline. Countdown, countdown. Oh, no, I don't know. Don't 30 whole down. seconds of counting down would be somewhat obnoxious. I don't know if you guys want to. But maybe the last like five seconds will definitely count down. So Not there yet. It feels like a fun and stressful little. Yeah, just all for you, all quick, for you, quick. Christina. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's always fun to just work under a little bit of pressure every yeah. now and again. You're gonna have some time though, post review. Oh, two, I, I will? I think no? just maybe like a few minutes, yeah. probably. We're going oh, through, like it through two whole poles. Oh, looks like the submission deadline's been had. Okay. Okay. Your time. Give me, time. give me two minutes, two yo, seconds. everyone. Okay. Five, Five minutes. minutes. Five okay. Whole minutes. So we've got we're coming together with something here. Um, maybe we'll offset this and just create a stroke to make it like slightly more fancy. Shout out to Ryan, who's also like the other person. He's 32 and not getting into art and graphic design, but he's actually working on degree in media design. Awesome. Stick Good with on it. You. Awesome. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Uh, in art school, I learned that um, you just need to be a struggling artist. And that's all, all of a career that you'll have from art school. And look, that was a bunch of bull uh, Tosh? Yeah, bull honky. Bull honky. That's, that's yeah. my terminology from Texas. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. Tosh is very British. I don't tosh? think I would ever say Tosh. Tosh equals bull I'm honky. I'm very fancy here, so. 
<laughs> I'm, very I'm, at my, Texan. I'm at my very fanciest, and you're you're very Texan. <laughs> Texan. Um, so I think what I want to do here is so cool. Add some sort of pattern as well. Why don't we try this just for? But like the like we've had before, I want that to be a background and uh, not stand out. Okay, so, so I think so what we need great. to do is copy, save, um, paste in front, and I'm just going to cross my fingers that this works. Uh, I've crossed. A huge offset. Um, let's say twenty. Off. Oh, it did that to the lines as well. Thank I, you for the Texas mm -hmm. love, Ryan. <laughs> uh, Reverb Mike's bacon is saved when he uses a nice gradient. I just restructured your commentary. I thought it was funny. What happens there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> What's occurring? Uh, it is grabbing. It's. Oh my gosh, Jan! I can't control them. I just can't. Okay, it's just part of who I am, you know, had to, I've had to live with this for quite <laughs> some time. Some, there's something wacky happening here. Let's just pretend that this worked well. Yeah. And, oh no, there's a line there. Oh, I see. I see what's happening. David, did okay. you eat Italian food in Texas? Because that would make this relevant to the conversation today. <laughs> Just laughing at my own jokes, it's fine. I wish I could hear you guys laugh. Can you guys type it? <laughs> yeah, type it in, babe. Please laugh. Please. So it's just picking up too many lines. It's the offsetting hasn't worked, but the, the general shape is there and you guys are getting the idea. Um, so. There we go. There we We're go. almost there. Oh. oh my gosh, I wonder what it's gonna look like. We have a few different directions we went today though. We did. Yeah. We, we explored a bunch of different options. Accomplishing all a valid, ton. all different tones. We learned about oranges yeah. and their place in Italian them. culture. Um. <laughs> I learned never to do the warp tool in front of people again. Right. <laughs> um. And to what, what to talk to the uh, illustrator team about this afternoon. Anybody else have uh, have any uh, anything they want me to and relay to the illustrator team? Yeah. Any points of feedback? Celebrations to share? Yeah. New tools. You're like Voodoo Val's freakish cackling, just a side note. <laughs> I love that it's freakish cackling. Yeah. As opposed to the delightful kind of cackling. You Ever hear. so slightly disturbing, but in <laughs> some good I love way. That. I love that. All right. So there's cool. maybe this background red should be a blue, different color, to keep it in that blue theme. There we are. There we are. Oh, it's a bit patriotic. Bit of both, a bit French. A bit. Here we go. All right. Oh my gosh, All so right. cool. There's some speed, some real speed designing. <laughs> it looks so good. Yeah, definitely. Paul, I will tell the illustrator team that you love them, but they need a repeat grid. Yep. More brushes, says cool. Heidi. Cool. I think we're ready for the. Is it time for our portfolio? I think it's time for the portfolio review. review. Do we put? Do, do we, we, we? Do we? Do we take off? We get taking off. There's a video. 
We're gonna be playing a video <laughs> right now. Um, You guys, I'm so excited that we're in space. And here we are. Wait, am I doing this right? And I'm stealing this later for sure. Wait, but you can't see. Okay, I'll um, just keep you David open. is asking when the next episode of the Christina and Amelia show is. I'm not quite sure, but I we'll want to be on that see. show. I mean, of course, I would be, unless they got someone else to play me. Christina, we need you. You're critical. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Who, who do you think would play me? Save that for later. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's your famous person? Let's jump into Amberly Corker's Amberly. portfolio. We are your biggest fans. Keep Amberly, up, Amberly. Keep up the awesome work. Okay. Let's check it out. Cool. I love the banner across the top. It's all the fun colors that I really like. So this is Amberly's student portfolio of cool. 2018. Some Very geometric symmetry going on. Kaleidoscopic. Mm. Oh, cool patterns. Swirly balloons. Yeah, cool. Like I wonder, did you make these out of uh, these patterns out of brushes or or um, how? Yeah. How are, they, how are they constructed? They're really interesting. Feel free to comment oh, as we scroll. A little pattern, a oh, texture I like pattern. This. It's so I want to touch it's it. It's very tactile. I like the center of it pops out more. Yes. Got some shading, some light. I like this purple gradient background. I think that was a good idea. Oh yeah. Individual circles. You created it by hand. Awesome. Very cool. Cool. No, I don't know how to create a brush myself either, but that might be a way of doing it. Garden of Eden. <gasps> Cute. Look at these illustrations. Yeah, those leaves are so dope. much shading. Monsteras in the background. Is this done in uh, Illustrator, I assume? Hmm. Very cool. Very cool. I, I really like the apple. Yeah. Well, and the it's bananas and, and the grapes, too. but. I yeah. like the bitten in You really aspect feel of the bit biting. Banana. Yeah, yeah. And with that, the palm front in the background, the palm uh, design in the background. I wonder if uh, the text or maybe the background could have less green in it so that everything, yeah, everything else pops, pops a bit more. more. Uh, that's probably the, the reason for the um, white uh, overlay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a different it's color so could do that as well. Really like it. Yeah. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night take these broken wings <gasps> and learn to, to fly. fly. I love that song. Mm. That's beautiful. Yeah, I really like this. And did you do this in Photoshop with layers maybe? Of uh, like overlays, or what, maybe it's one photo, mm. but good type treatment with the drop shadow there. Um, yeah, like you get a real. Guy. It's those those colors all really work together. The the um, type is jumping out a bit more because of that white in a line, which is good. Maybe maybe the fly. I like uh, the could have the same treatment so that it feels a bit more connected. Sure. Or, yeah, maybe that's something to try. Keep yeah. it integrated more, but I do like yeah. that it's outstanding and has this like dynamic aspect too. Emily says it was done in Illustrator. Aha. Cool. Oh, I really like this. You really, that's a uh, um, real. Oh gosh, the colors particular are style. so special. Especially oh. with those little flares everywhere, I really like that. And yeah. I like the the like um, more gestural illustration style. Yeah, it's looser. It's looser, but that sorry, I just bumped helmets Ooh. with you. <laughs> 
with those layers of mountains in the background. All of the colors are working really well together and that green is just popping out. Yeah, the apple is really celebrated in this piece. And the hands are really it. good. I find it really hard to draw hands. Hands are hard. All kinds of body parts are really difficult. Yeah. Um, and those light flares are lovely. Yeah, I really just love the colors here. It looks like a magical anime. It reminds me kind of a little bit of Lisa Frank. Oh, yeah. 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 Which is, I think, also in line with your um, your mood board yesterday, to a degree. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, putting oh, in the Oh, great. Oh, how touching. Cool. Very, very cool. Oh, so beautiful. imagine this poem was the inspiration, likely. Yeah, I like how you've uh, extended the design so that you can put your text over the top of the arms that are not that important. I wonder if one of the things you could do is to put, so that you're hiding all these arms entirely, mm -hmm. you could put one layer of mountains like in front or something and create a different kind of depth so that the arms get cut off but they're not floating but you have like a darker area for the text to overlay a bit better. Cool. Um, some good directed some advice. Some great gradients happening in that one. Pickle pie crunch. What is pickle He's pie such crunch? He's a happy pickle. <laughs> He's so, so sweet. Happy. He reminds me of Veggie Tales. Does anybody know what Veggie yes. Tales is? Yes. Okay. Doesn't he kind of? He does. In the in such a good way. I, the shine in the eyes is just right. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <sighs> Very cool. May the new year bring many moments of joy and laughter with those you love. Happy New Year! Very celebratory. Clink. Those glasses are great. But that's a, some awesome shading. I've done, I've illustrated some, uh, very basically illustrated some glasses and they're hard to get the shading right on the stems. That You've done a great job really there. Good. And you're locking up the type here. Yeah. Yeah, the type looks kind of like one big bubble from the champagne. Yeah. Yeah, right? Bursting. Bursting. Boop. Oh, a little cactus hedgehog? Hedgehog. Cute. That's very cute. I like this animal cute. that you've made up. What does this say? Expecto Patronum. Patronum. Oh, hi. That's, That's um, a Dementor. Harry. And Hedwig. Connor. Awesome. I love how you're trying a bunch of different illustration styles. Um, yeah. It's great to try, like test yourself with different styles. Ooh, this like is very this one, cool. A mosaic. Very cool. Did you do do this using the pen tool, or or the mosaic tool? I mean, the mosaic preset, because this is awesome. It's really hard to do uh, shape. Uh, so many different shapes portraits. captured here. Everything is an illustrator. Yeah, cool. Really like it. And turn the life around. Oh, cancer oh, society. Oh, and a different kind of illustration style. Very yeah. cool. Really testing your, your skills. That's awesome. This is awesome. I like the colors in this one, This too. is kind of how I do my portrait illustration. It's like uh, color base and then some some sketchy lines over the top to put some detail in. Yeah, that's true. It's checking yeah. out your portfolio. Your mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, yeah awesome. Yeah, totally. That's beautiful. Drinking Cancer Society. These oh, and it's in, masked out in a arrow. Yeah. Like that arrow. Aww. Yeah, Amberly, that's my mother-in-law. The next is my mother, and last is my daughter's friend one. who all battled cancer. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. Really, way to put your mm. talents to work. Mm. Talents. This is this is beautiful. Really? I really liked I really like this lockup as well. The shape of the arrow, and where the rise up sits. Every all of the chunks of color, and the position of the arrow are, are working really well. Yeah, you've blocked it out yeah. really nicely. Yeah. While keeping That's very that harmonious. Theme. Yeah. 
And your eyes are all directed up mm -hmm. and going out. Yeah. Cool. Good There's apples. that apple. Pineapple t-shirts that have Christmas trees on them. Oh, apples, apple with a, with a Christmas top on it. Oh, duh. You're just, Amelia. sorry. No, no. <laughs> I like taking I over thinking, Amelia's track bag. <laughs> I was thinking through the the pineapple, the word pineapple, and then there being a pine tree on top of an apple. It That's all makes beautiful. sense now. <laughs> Very clever. And, oh, are these? That's the, the, um, um, mm -hmm. uh, the they're like hoax. three, they're ho not Horcruxes. The, are they the Horcruxes? Yeah. They're the three, what are they called? I'm going to let you take this one. Oh, I have no idea. None whatsoever. Does anybody want to help? Amberly, I'll, I'll Amberly, jump in. Amberly, weigh in. Weigh in, tell us. There's the three important things. It's a resurrection stone. It's the... This is not my my topic area. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> Deathly Hallows. That's, sure. That's what I was going for. It's the Deathly Hallows. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful cartoon what drawings. Are these people. Uh, are they from the? Are they the Weasleys? Oh no no no! It's the three original owners of the um, Deathly Hallows. Thank you, everyone. Everyone's very upset that I didn't know what the Deathly Hallows were. <laughs> I mean, you know. I did know in my heart. You I can knew. only know so much in this oh, so in this world. In um, yeah. I really, well. really love these. These are just really cool. Even though I'm not sure of the narrative they're conveying. It's uh. Well, I'm picking up on it. I'm just there's death. no background. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And they have to cross the bridge. Did you read Harry Potter at all? No. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I know I'm letting yeah. a lot of people down. This is something I normally have to deal with in my personal life, not here. <laughs> Maybe you should read them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should read them. Mighty Broncos. Cool. Oh, with the football. Oh, and it's, a it's like a card. card. Nice. Cool type Did you selection design a bunch as well. Of these? My son's football card I made. That's Aww, beautiful. Cool. That's beautiful. Aww. Cool. This is wow. Like I love composite. I, I love, um, I'm in a real collage phase. So I really like. Garden glitter. This is some beautifully glitter. done collaging. Yeah. Po uh, well, compositing, oh, I suppose. There's the butterfly. Mm -hmm. And then there's the butterfly. Cool. Very cool. Need a whole creature. Beautiful. Such beautiful cool Amberly. Amberly. So dynamic. Yeah. So many different elements. Keep so on illustrating. That's you. Yeah. There's some really beautiful work in there. Got T-shirts, flyers, baseball or football cards. All kinds of things. Really neat. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. So Who's might we next? jump into the next portfolio. It's gonna be Roman Warren. Roman. Oh cool, you've been doing the submissions, the the challenges, the daily challenges. There he goes. Oh we we talked about this one just yesterday. Yeah, cool. Alright, let's start over here. What do we got? PowerPoint samples, wow. some decks, business. <laughs> this is really hard to do. Though. Graphs and stuff are really hard to make look interesting and uh, I sleek. <laughs> I, I used to How do it at work a bunch. Vision? And my peripheral vision is terrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> struggle, guys. I'm on struggle straight. Um, yeah, no, this seems super, uh, you have to be really precise. Yeah. I'm really clear with and your And match choices. colors as well. Yeah. Like you've got a you've got a color palette that's reoccurring throughout the whole thing, which is super important. I've I've definitely had um, some decks I've had to clean up because uh, they used every color under the sun. You've got to limit some of that, or else it doesn't make sense anymore. You've got to have a information process. architecture. Yeah, yeah, phase. yeah. So this is very neat. Hard work to do and good. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. All Let's right. Go to next item. Oh, some business cards. Cool. Illustrator. So I was about to sneeze. Picture. Cool. Look at that illustration. Did did I you like her face? Yeah. In her hand. Yeah, and and the how the um, type is fitting into that negative space on the, the white space. Mm, right here. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and then the Alexa fits into the black space perfectly. Yeah, some super more cool. cards. It's BBP. B B P. <laughs> it's. Cards are also a, a hard thing to make because you have so, like he's got here so much, the client often wants so much information. Mm, that's a good point. On your tiny little cards and everything still has to be legible and they've got like an office number, a fax number, a cell number. <laughs> yeah. And you gotta get that quote in, You gotta right? get that quote in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Conquering it's, Hollywood, one scene at a time. Yeah. No, so you've yeah, done really, really well good. to fit in all of that information. Yeah, it's and very that, clear. That, those logos, yeah. Oh, a punch card. Oop, pardon. Cafe cool, Buna. Cafe Buna. Buy any 70s drug drinks. Cool, I like how it's on an angle. Yeah. That's definitely, uh, makes it feel unique to what you usually see where it's just all stacked. It's, it, like, mixes it up a bit. Awesome. I wonder if you could have put the, um, I mean, Shoulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> I shouldn't suggest it now, but like, I wonder if that coffee mug could have gone up in that right corner and uh, to fill in some of that space. that space. But, but I suppose there's also that that the space, gradient. the gradient space on the left as well. So it's like hard to find where to fill. You love the in. hug. I love the hug. She loves the hug. <laughs> <laughs> Roman, yes, it's basically like a website on a card. Exactly. All, <laughs> all of the information. Oh, I like this curve with the illustration yeah, peeking out from behind. Yeah, these illustrations are cute. Yeah, because it separates, it kind of like lets you get that um, personality in with the illustration, but uh, keeps this the information separate and and popping out in front. I like that you used this split as the place to highlight the website or the email because that's uh, pretty important. Yeah. It's really outstanding. Yeah. Back. All right. Oh, yeah. went faster. Amended heart publication. Oh. Yeah. So Very cool. A lot of different layouts you've used for different um, cards. Yeah, mm. these are great. Oh, I like this. It's that one's very um, feels very sophisticated and, and lawyerly. You have that um, personality group. in there, totally. And it, the the like black knocked out of the white knocked out of black, uh, really highlighting that top. Um, Southern California is a great contrast to the rest of it. Nice. Yeah. Um, mm, mm, Going back. Yeah. Or. Whoa. This is cool. I love this. Great picking of uh, type as well. It's very emotive. And photography. Did you do that photography yourself, or you pull pull it? Oh wow! From somewhere. Oh, good slicing up. I like this. Super intense, but cool. Looks kind of scary. Yeah, but it really makes you feel it. Mm hmm And good uh, text lock up at the bottom right. Oh, all the different posters All the different and ways you can do. Oh, that little smoke integration. It's so yes. scary for some reason. Right, and the type is like a little blurred. It's really giving you the feeling. Oh, oh this and one's then really some cool. really beautiful um, blending layers. layers. Yeah, I love you can this. See the scary scene, but it's like subtle yeah. in the smoke. Yeah. I think that one's my favorite out of them. It's They're all great, but rad. I think that one was the bottom my favorite. One. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
I say yeah, yeah, yeah a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. What about um, the bakery one? I yeah. took the love and oven. Oh. Love and oven. He used Adobe Photoshop to design these five window vinyls for the love window and oven vinyls? cakery. I've never done a window vinyl. That's awesome. In Round Lake, Illinois. Cool. Very cool. Love and oven cakery. It's I've cool. never heard of a cakery. Love those hearts. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Yeah. These <laughs> like banner a lot of a lot of ones that people need as a cohesive set. It's um, very friendly. Perfect. Yeah. Very yeah. like comfortable. You know, comforting and sweet. Those are all things that you'd want to feel so when cool you go to, to a see cakery. It, to see it, right? Uh, in yeah. person. Can we go to um, this one? No, uh, back to the projects. Oh, back to the projects. Yeah, um, I think we've we got time? a couple of minutes left. So dokey. What's one of the more recent ones? This one here. Antioch Pizza. Awesome. Oh, yep. Fonts there and colors. Goes. Good. Good. Uh, prepping of the whole uh, set. Yeah, yeah. Here I go again. Yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Menu as well. Whole identity for it. Yeah. Good laying out of that. Menus are hard to. <gasps> There's such thing as a message pizza. A hot Who pizza. New. A hot pizza. This is really great. Go to the outro. We gotta wrap it up. Soon. Wrap it up. Uh, we gotta wrap it up. We're so. wrapping up very okay. soon. Okay. So, so let's let's click out and then let's. Um, Finally, visit this one, Font School Solutions. It's corporate branding. Uh, nice photo. Very cute. Bob, yeah, cool. cool. You've been working like on a lot this. of branding stuff, a lot Very of cohesive, childish, yeah, childlike. different logos. Friendly. Yeah. Great learning colors. Great learning colors. And good ways of <laughs> type being jumping out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Illustrations. Did you do all those illustrations? They're awesome. Second collateral imagery. Oh my gosh, that cat is killing me. I love it. <laughs> Book fair print collateral. Wow. wow. This is a big project. Huge. Yeah. Pamphlets, posters, program guides. Book fair course graphics. You've made, done a really good job of of blowing out this whole uh, system. Yeah, it's kind of like comic booky a bit. Mm. Very accessible to the child's mind. Book for bookcases and everything. This must have been a huge job. Love it. Okay, it seems well, like we're I'm out of take time this now. Off. Are we Are taking you? this okay. off? Goodbye. I'm, I'm stealing it. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for joining us. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you for hang come hanging out. It's been awesome. Thank you for what sharing your skills. Yeah, we've all learned a tremendous amount and visited so many different places. Yeah, and thank you all for all your help. Yes. With all your great suggestions. <laughs>